What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. I'm in a good mood today, and I want to share some news with you guys. According to Yahoo Sports, Kevin Lowe, which I consider to be a good, credible source, they are saying Mayweather versus Maidana Part 2, the rematch, does 925,000 pay per view buys. So I want to spend some time talking about that. Um, the article says. Basically, what we all know, pay-per-view sales have been down across the board. Mayweather has had four fights in, with Showtime, and only one of them has reached over a million. That was, of course, against Canelo Alvarez. Props to that. That also set a record for the, the most gross revenue in a fight. Um, they list other fights. They also talk about how Showtime made an agreement conveniently this year to not announce pay-per-view numbers or some shit. Um probably because they were down some things in the article i don't necessarily agree with they're saying the maidana fight the first fight with mayweather did nine hundred thousand, but it took forever to get the numbers so i don't really believe that nine hundred twenty-five thousand for this fight sounds more reasonable point being reason being i guess you could say is the casuals mayweather versus maidana mayweather speaks english maidana doesn't speak english so it's not the same head-to-head, -head, um, all access, where you can really ramp it up when there's a language barrier. That's one thing. So in the first fight, people didn't know what to expect. Plus, a lot of people thought it was going to be a whitewash, and it turned out to be a good fight, even controversial, with the glove situation, um, the scorecard. Some people said Maidana won, which I thought was whack, but... You know what I mean? I don't think Maidana won. I thought he had a good showing and had a good account of himself. But just like I predicted my prediction, I expected Mayweather to make those adjustments like he says in every interview. And I thought lightning would not strike twice in the same spot. I thought if any chance Maidana had to beat Mayweather, it was in that first fight. The element of surprise, Mayweather had some uh, situation where he just broke up with his fiance of a long time, Miss Jackson. And that was new and fresh for him. He even talked about it on the All Access, I believe, for the Maidana fight, the first fight. So he had a lot going on in the background. Just a lot of different changes. And Maidana was hungry. Maidana was just off the Broner win where he destroyed Broner in December. And now he's fighting Mayweather. So I thought if any chance Maidana had, it would be that first chance. But you don't give a fighter like Mayweather, who is smart and is a thinker two cracks at something you know what i mean you don't give them two chances to figure you out it just and you've seen them towards the end of the first fight start making those adjustments so my prediction was right in this fight props to marcus maidana because i still like maidana i've always liked maidana he comes to bring it he showed tremendous improvement with his skill set i've seen a better defense a better usage of a jab he looks like he has better stamina he doesn't fade out in fights like he did in the Amir Khan fight when he was at the end. In the second half, he was giving it to Amir Khan. And Amir Khan was like hanging on for dear life. I think Cortez was the referee. And he was kind of allowing breaks and, and giving Amir Khan a little bit of time to recover and stuff like that. And Maidana just punched himself out. So I really like uh, Maidana's journey, if you will. How far Maidana's come with his craft. You, you're talking about a guy who was considering pondering retirement. After the Devin Alexander fight, he moved up to welterweight and he got embarrassed up there. And that was against Devin Alexander, who we've seen beaten by guys like Sean Porter. And he considered retiring. Maidana was just like, man, maybe welterweight's not me. But his manager got him in touch with Robert Garcia and the rest is history. He stuck with it and he's improved his fight game. So all the props in the world to Mayweather and also Maidana for showing improvement. Um, the numbers, like I said... The casuals, when you anytime you involve more casual fans, then you're going to get higher numbers because it's not just the core boxing fans. It's just anybody. And I think the controversy, the hype helped Miss Jackson running her mouth and saying Floyd Beater, the Ray Rice comments. I think it hurts, but it also helps because it keeps people talking. It keeps Mayweather's name circulating. So whether you want to see him lose or not, more people tuned in. Again, I don't think the first fight did 900K, but... This sounds realistic, 925000 for this fight, just given the, the magnitude, the tough first fight, the glove controversy, the Miss Jackson controversy, the Ray Rice controversy, etc. So I'm anxious to see where both fighters go in their next career. I've done my What's Next video for Marcus Maidana. 
a lot of great fights. It's a stacked division, 147. I would really like to see him fight a guy like Keith Thurman. I would really like to see him fight a guy like Sean Porter. They both have that aggressive tank style, and neither one of them takes a step back. A fight with Ruslan Provotnikov could be a war. Um, Matisse was, was mentioned a couple years ago for Maidana, Matisse Maidana. Um, you could really put him in there. I would even want to see a fight with Tim Bradley and Marcos Maidana just to see how he does and if he can make those adjustments, Timothy Bradley, because we know Bradley doesn't have the most pop, but he's an excellent boxer and he's a thinker. So what kind of time would Tim Bradley have with Marcos Maidana versus Floyd Mayweather? So I like to compare and contrast a bit, and those are all good fights. As far as Floyd Mayweather, his list is slimming down for me. I don't want to see him fight bullshit fights. Obviously, number one on the list, Pacquiao. We all want to see it. There's other guys like Keith Thurman, other guys like Kell Brook, who are um, establishing their legacy. Keith Thurman hasn't really fought nobody, but he is a mandatory. Another fight would be Amir Khan. It could be speed versus speed. They could make a big deal of, about it in the UK and have the fight in the UK. So those are the fights that I really, the only real fights that I want to see him fight, unless Mayweather wants to challenge himself and move up to uh, 154 and fight some of the top guys up there, Demetrius Andrade. Um, some people are saying a Canelo rematch. Canelo has showed him improvement or, or look good or won his last two fights, but I'm not really anxious to see that fight until I see a little bit more. I still see Canelo struggle with the style that Mayweather possesses. And some people are like, oh, Mayweather's getting old. I mean, he's 37 years old. Of course, he's going to show some signs of aging. He's not inhuman. You know what I mean? But I think Marcos Maidana's style is the perfect style to not look good against, especially since he's been improving. So I don't think everyone's going to have that type of time with Maidana because Maidana's tough as fuck. So he has that fearless attitude. He's just going to keep coming, keep plowing forward. And if you can't seriously hurt him, then it's a wrap. You know what I mean? He's going to keep trying. So he has that in his favor. The motherfucker can crack. He has power. So, and he's wild. You know what I'm saying? He's wild and he doesn't give up. So there's there's a couple different things that create sort of a poison for Floyd Mayweather. Now, Amir Khan versus Mayweather, that's a different type of fight. Yes, Amir Khan has a speed advantage, but is he as tough as Maidana? Does he have the power of Maidana? Does he have the chin of Maidana? You know what I mean? Those things we, we don't we don't really know, you know what I mean? And at 147, because he, he just traveled up there, he's had one fucking fight, you know what I mean? So we don't know if his chin's going to hold up better. We know Maidana can take a punch at 47. I've seen him get cracked by Soto Caras. That was a good war. Uh, I seen him get cracked in the fight with Josito Lopez, and he bounced back. I seen him take shots from Adrian Broner, and he was cool. Mayweather twice. So I know uh, Maidana has a sturdy chin at 147. That's what I think. Let me know what you guys think of these pay-per-view numbers being released. Um, do you think they're inflated? Do you think they're right on? Did you watch the fight? Did you stream it? Let me know something. Make sure you like my video. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego signing off.